Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out Jet Li's My Father is a Hero, released on Blu-ray by Vinegar Syndrome. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. So it actually doesn't even feel that long ago when I was checking out the Eureka Video Blu-ray release of Heroes and Villains, the three film Jet Li set, which included an amazing restoration and print of My Father as a Hero. But I always said it was a movie I felt deserved to have its own single release, uh, as in a Blu-ray version of the Hong Kong uh, cut of it, not just this American enforcer shite. Uh, but this now finally, thanks to Vinegar Syndrome, has happened. And unfortunately, it did arrive with me or was on the way the week that I heard of Corey Ewan's passing, which was quite bittersweet, I have to say. That said, it is now in my hands, and here we have this gorgeously done single release Blu-ray of My Father is a Hero, with some new fairy comic booky artwork, which I kind of dig. I think it really is a, a nice piece. It's not blowing me away, but I do feel that this is going to be a worthwhile addition to any true fans collection. Anyone that really gets uh, what certain Hong Kong movies deserve to be given a single release. Now, that said, the Heroes and Villains one, that, that was the best I had ever seen that film look, I have to say. So this has a lot to live up to in regards to that. Let me all take it back though, before we get stuck into this, I'll take it back. I used to have a bootleg and I'll cut it short because I really went into depth with Eurekas. You can go back and watch that unboxing video. But I used to have an, uh, a bootleg video of My Father as a Hero and I wore that out. Of course I did. Anyone in their right mind uh, would do the same thing. Uh, then a few years later when the DVD market hit, I picked up the, uh, the Chinese or the Hong Kong release, uh, as you can see here. And it's not great quality, to be honest, but it did me. Of course, I had no other version of it. Uh, and this was me being able to finally see it in its uh, digital glory, I suppose, before we were all spoiled with cleanup. Uh, soon after that, then uh, Dimension released it as the Enforcer with a horrendous redubbing, uh, rescoring, re edit, whatever you want, and kind of, yeah, I mean, I just have that because. Uh, then I picked up the German DVD release, Jet Li is the Hero, which completely. Uh, and absolutely abuses everything about the movie itself. <laughs> As you can see, you have Forbidden Kingdom on the back there, you have a promo shot in the front. Um, but still, it was a good enough quality. Uh, English, German, uh, Cantonese language options, uh, subtitles, you had deleted scenes, you had trailer shows. And so it was actually quite a nice um, package to add to the collection. Uh, then Dragon Dynasty released it again as the Enforcer with a bunch of special features, which was fantastic. And these same special features have been carried over to everything since that, uh, including the Eureka video release. And I do believe this Vinegar Syndrome release. Now, of course, the Vinegar, or the Eureka video one, uh, here we have it, Heroes and Villains was a collection of fantastic movies there. Uh, My Father's a Hero, they release here as The Enforcer, Dr. Y and the Scripture with No Words, and Hitman. Now, I always felt that Bodyguard from Beijing would have been a better fit here rather than Dr. Y, uh, given that they, the other two were more modern action movies there. Um, but then Idiot Films went on to release a wonderful 4K version of Bodyguard from Beijing. So hey, where we didn't win, we got something better in other places there. Anyway, my father is a hero from Vinegar Syndrome. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff here. Let's get stuck in and see what is included. So sliding that out there, it comes out with the same artwork, of course. Uh, limited to 4,000, as you can see on the top here, number 752. Typical sturdy case uh, from Vinegar Syndrome. Again, I kind of dislike these 
totally because these sharp corners often can catch the uh, the plastic on the casing here and rip it off a little just have to be nice and gentle George is what people keep saying to me but hey you know me I get excited okay so again same cover there on the front and on the back here we get a full breakdown with synopsis and special features so this includes a newly restored by vinegar syndrome uh, 4k transfer from a studio supplied 4k master uh, presented in its original Cantonese 2.0 stereo soundtrack along with the classic English dub soundtrack brand new commentary track with uh, Frank Jang an interview with Wong Jing uh, three minutes in length a brand new interview with producer Wong Jing fantastic uh, crowd pleaser an archival interview again these are the ones from uh, Eureka Dragon Dynasty and so on so crowd pleaser a 16 minute or uh, 60 minute interview with Wong Jing like father like son an archival interview with Ti Mu uh, 16 minutes Born to be Bad, an archival interview with actor Ken Lo at 20 minutes, uh, plus deleted scene, gallery, and trailer. Double sided poster, reversible sleeve artwork, and newly translated English subtitles. Okay, let's get stuck in there. Uh, of course, this is set to Region A, uh, with Eureka having the rights here to the UK. Inside, we have got the back of the case on the artwork on the disc there. And of course, this big shiny poster over here, which I'm about to share with you. Woo now, we don't get a booklet here, but that said, this is quite a big poster and is just wonderful. Very nice. Hopefully you're seeing that okay, but that's pretty cool. Hopefully there's not too much glare. Maybe I'll move it over here and then flip that round for the darker side. As you can see, of course, we have Yu Ru Guang there, Blackie Ko, Colin Chai, and Ken Lo is the other bad guy there. Nice poster. Uh, don't have the space to put it up. Someday I will get it into a frame because it is it is lovely. And I will put up the, the brown side. I will put up this side more so uh, than the other. Okay, that's pretty much all there is to share with you. I am going to go check this out. Oh, let me get this in. Yes. See, it likes to prove me a liar now that I've complained so much about it. I'm uh, going to go check this out, put it up against the Eureka Video Blu-ray release, of course, and come right back to let you know what I think. So I'm just back after checking out the Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray release of Jet Li's My Father's a Hero. And to be honest, I am really torn between the two here. I always said that what Eureka put out there was the finest I had ever seen this movie. But this 4K restoration here is absolutely stunning. And the fact that it's a standalone release uh, totally wins big points with me. Absolutely. It's what I've always said about this movie. It deserved to have its own. Uh, the picture, as I say, was glorious. I didn't need to watch it many times. I've seen it countlessly, so I did watch it only once with the audio commentary from Frank Jang, which again was fantastic. Very, very informative. Learned uh, some new things about the movie I didn't know before uh, from other variations, but definitely well worth a listen if you pick this up. Now I'll quickly bump this over into the special feature scene. Uh, as you can see, it changes with the menu here, of course. You have a new interview with Wong Jing. Now this is pretty short, and actually when you watch uh, the likes of a Chinese torture chamber story. Uh, there's a new interview with Wang Jing on there. This is cut from that same interview. So it seems that they have interviewed him for some period of time there, but they've taken snippets based on whatever releases they're going to be doing. So I, I actually look forward uh, to see what uh, Vinegar Syndrome are going to be putting out there from Wang Jing and seeing more of that same interview there. But this one here for My Father's a Hero ran for probably just over three minutes in length there. Uh, then you have Crowd Pleaser, Like Father, Like Son, Born to be Bad. These are the archival interviews that we've seen uh, from Dragon Dynasty. We've seen them on the Eureka release there. Uh, you've got the Wang Jing one ran for 18 minutes. The Timu for 16 minutes minutes and the Ken Lo one for 20 minutes uh, but again great to watch them again of course I never tire of seeing these things the deleted scene is the same deleted scene from the Eureka release also that really bad sort of low res quality runs for just over a minute probably slightly under two minutes in length uh, with burnt in English subtitles there. Nothing too exciting about it, to be honest, and it really doesn't need to be there. Uh, then you have an image gallery that ran for just over a minute. This was pretty cool to see. Very quick images, mind you. 
and the original Hong Kong trailer presented in widescreen HD, fantastic edit, ran for just under five minutes in length. It's a fucking long trailer. Anyway, I mean, overall though, if you don't have the Eureka release there, of course that is combined with two other movies, uh, and you want to get your hands on an amazing edition of My Father is a Hero, then this will be the one. Absolutely beautiful. That, as I say, that 4K transfer is just stunning there. So for me, even though I've got it a hundred times, definitely a double thumbs up for me. Super glad that it's in my collection. Out now from Vinegar Syndrome. So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.